Hi, I'm going to walk you through how to record and how to track a Scoobit post. So right near you see our Scoobit, and I'm going to take a post off the company blog. So right here I'm going to go to the blog. I went to specialties, pediatric chiropractor, pediatric acupuncture, excuse me. So I'm going to take this URL at the top of the page, the website address. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it right into his scoop. And that will actually pull content right off the page. And then I'm going to customize it, which is the entire point of using Scoop, but is customizing the content. So I'm going to select the image. I'm going to hit this little upload button. And I've already selected some images I like on my desktop. So I'm going to look through some of these. And I'm going to pick this one instead of the one in there. Um, having a girl in the pool just didn't make sense. And then I can increase the size by clicking this button. Makes the images a little bit bigger. I'm going to go back to the page and I'm actually going to copy and paste the text right here because I want that text to actually show up in the post. I'm going to replace this text. We want to give people at least one to three paragraphs. That way they'll stay on Scoop It and they won't leave the site to go to another page even though this page is from the ACNJ website. So ideally, and then let's change the title here. Let's see what the title on this page is. Acupuncture for our little friends. Um, so let's try PD acupuncture for our little friends. So we want to get uh, five to eight words. Ideally, shorter is better. And then we're going to add an insight. If you have kids that you that could benefit from our acupuncture services, please contact us to schedule an appointment. I'm going to put the phone number 973-984-2800. Okay. And then now I'm going to click the direct link because basically when people see this, the direct link is going to take them to the blog. Now, if we were sharing a site that wasn't from the company website, I would turn this off. Okay. So if you're sharing from your own blog, you turn it on. If you're sharing from a third party site, that's interesting. You want to bring them to scoop it first and then they have the option to click back to the source site. So I'm going to select Twitter, LinkedIn, the Facebook page. These are LinkedIn groups, so it's up to you if you feel like these warrant that. And then I'm going to select the LinkedIn company page and the Google Plus page. So I'm going to leave linked uh, share as an image, which is going to share it as an image. You see the sentence I wrote for Twitter. I'm going to actually add some hashtags, PD acupuncture. I'm going to put acupuncture or wellness, kid healing. And then acupuncture for kids. Okay, the rest I don't have to change. I'm going to go down to advanced settings right here. And this is where I could schedule this content. So I'm going to schedule this for tomorrow. Today's the 4th. I'm going to schedule for tomorrow. I'm going to make it a little bit earlier in the day. So I'm going to slide this hour to the morning. And that will go out now at on the 5th at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then the, the tags... Our actual keywords. So if you see, as soon as you start typing, you're going to see keywords come up. So I'm going to share some basic keywords about the center. Uh, Morristown is the location. Dr. Kadar is the main uh, practitioner. And let's see if there's anything else. Acupuncture. We've got a lot of words in here. Four kids we've got. And then uh, we can do it the other way. Kid acupuncture. Uh, just some basic one, wellness, health, and traditional Chinese medicine. So I'm going to overlook all this, the title, the post, the photo, the insight, which is why we're sharing about this post. Um, and then I'm going to look over these. I'm going to tag this, make sure that that's a hashtag. Here's the actual link it's going to go to on LinkedIn. You can customize all these fields. I'm going to hit publish. Now, once that's done, you're going to see this little one up in the corner, and that means we're looking at it. See the little red line under it? That means we're looking at future posts, scheduled posts. And you can see it says right here, scheduled for November 5th. If I click the one again, it's going to take me back to the existing posts that have already gone out. This one went out at today at 12, 
This one went out on the 3rd at 3.30. So I hope that helps. Let me know if we can help you any further. Take care.